Hello, Denville students. This is Caforti here again, and today we're going to talk about how to find the area of a circle. In other words, how many square units are covered by this circle? Let's start with something that you already know. You know how to find the area of a rectangle. We can count the number of rows and the number of square units in each row, six rows, eight square units in each, six times eight is 48 square units. And I bet you're feeling like a rock star, like, yeah, I got this. So how is finding the area of a circle different? And why does it leave many of us feeling like this, or maybe even like this? Well, that's not surprising. We're asking you to count how many squares it takes to cover something that's circular in shape some portions of the circle, it's easy to do this. For instance, right here, we can count full square units. However, other portions of the circle are more difficult because the square units cover more than the circle itself. Let's take a look at how we'll do this. In third grade, you'll learn how to estimate the area of a circle. We'll start by counting full square units. Take a look. This portion of the circle is covered by four rows with four square units in each for a total of 16 square units. Next, we'll take a look at nearly full square units. Look at this portion of the circle. The circle covers almost an entire square unit, but not completely. Seeing as it's only missing a little piece, we'll consider this as one because we're trying to find an estimate about a number that's close to the exact area of the circle. So if this counts as one, you can see here, this will be two square units. Here we have nearly two more and another two and two more for a total of eight square units. Last, we'll count halves. Take a look at this region of the circle. The shaded region shows about half of a square unit. If I can find another portion of the circle that also looks like it's about half of a square unit, we can put the two halves together to create one whole square unit. Here's another area of the circle where we can do this. One half plus one half equals one whole. And again, and one more time. Putting all of these halves together, you can see that we have about four square units. Now it looks as though we've covered the entire circle. Let's take our estimates and put them all together. And you can see that Adding these up, 16 plus 8 plus 4, we get about 28 square units. Notice I said the word about. Remember, this is an estimate. And I know some of you may have noticed this little area right here. We didn't count these portions of the circle. They are so small, and since we are only trying to find an estimate, a number that's close to the exact area of the circle, you don't need to count these. So now that we've explained things, I'm hoping that you feel a little less like this and a little more like this about finding the area of a circle. Thanks for watching. Click here to download a printable practice page. Feel free to use crayons and colored pencils to help keep you on track.